Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a project share today, a few projects. I uh, received the order I placed with BottleCapCompany.com, and I got the very large, this was the one that I had done and showed previously. This is the bigger one. Then this is actually the same size. It's basically the same. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, this one came with... This was from Hobby Lobby, and it came with, this was the next size down. Then there was a regular size and a tiny one and a big one. So it came with five, it came like stacked. So then I got the hearts, and I got some more of the daisies, but look how small these were compared to the one I had, which I don't remember where I got this one, so I'm going to be on the lookout. This also has like um, ridges in the petals and this was just flat. But I, I like it. I mean, at the end of the video, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to show you how I put the, the image inside of here. Just for those of you who are new to this, um, I had a couple comments about, you know, I mess it up a lot. I get a lot of bubbles. So I'm just going to um, show how I do it at the end, but I, I want to share some of the things that I've made with these um, since I got them. I made this really, really big one, and I'm pretty sure this is a hmm, SWALK, and I can't think of the other name. I'll put it in the description box, but sh this is the biggest one I've made. I haven't made any other big, big ones, um, but I just colored the image with my Copics. Um, and she is, um, it's not called Fairy Princess. I was going to put words on here, and I wish I had, but I could still put something. I'm going to figure something out. Um, princess. See, like, princess. But I didn't know where to put it. Like, it, it just wouldn't have fit. It would have not looked right um, with the design. But um, she's sweet, and I just love how the flowers look on the bottom. And this is actually, look, I mean, you can see, one, two, three, four inches wide, four by four. So that's a lot of space to work with. Um, but I put this trim around the edge instead of pearls. I just liked it. This is actually a K&Company Company paper that I just loved because it looked, it kind of looked like a hills in the background and kind of a cloudy sky like a psychedelic background sky. So I put a couple dragonflies and some flowers. And then I had made this a long time ago and had it in my stash. And I just thought this is where it needed to be. And so, and then I just put a hanger on top. I love it though. I stickled her crown and I think it turned out pretty good. So that's the biggest one I did. Then I did this one, and this is um, using paper from, um, oh, I had it set aside. Hold on, guys. I know it. Here it is. Uh, it's called Butterfly Bliss by Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and I'm pretty sure it was a free printout a pr um, because I will print out her um, images from time to time, and this sheet had, I think I have a couple of the other um, pieces here. I have most of my printables are still downstairs because I um, don't have like a file size place to keep them. So I just have like one um, folder here with like some images. But uh, I had a couple other pieces. I should have had them ready to go, but I did just here. I think they are here. They're just so beautiful. Like I love the colors. I love pink and green anyway. But, like, there's, I guess they're, like, this is an ATC size. And then this is, like, I cut that. That's what I did the bottle cap. I'll show you. I did another um, quirk charm. I cut it out of that. But look at the heart. That's so pretty. So, and this one was just a bigger piece that I just cut the circle out of. And there's butterflies and flowers. And so I just put, really, I didn't do much to it besides the Dimensional Magic, which has glitter and some flowers. And I have, I've had these big butterflies in my stash. These are in the kids department at Michael's in their um, acrylic bead section there. And I put some pretty 
um, floral beads that I had and this big Jesse James bead at the top. I love it. I just love the colors. I think, I think I might take these clasps ones off and just make these into ornaments because I think they would just look pretty on the tray. They're just so sparkly. So along with that, I made this bottle cap charm. So this is another piece of that paper and I just glued it on to the um, cork and put some pearl trim on top and bottom. So real simple. And then there's another little piece of the paper um, on the uh, bottle cap and it's kind of covered by the flowers, but you can see the little buds there. So I just love the beads I used on this too because this one just goes with it so well. Um, I've been really enjoying my beads lately. These are, this just, oh my God, just turned out so pretty, this little. This is from a um, Art Eye Cake, I think. So all the little pieces when you take stuff apart, and I just got those little ones with the flowers. I just love how that turned out. Then, what did I do next? I did a heart. So remember I had shown you my, my fairy. These are the... Um, Ah, something farm. <laughs> I have no brain. I'm going to have to drink coffee. Um, but I did her greeting farm. Thank you. In the blue and white Christmassy theme, like the snow, snow theme. Then I just did her and I did her green. So, and this is, um, I, the, pa the paper, it's just for my scrap pile. And I just thought it looked mystical you know I put a p soft pink stickles around around the edge there's no name on it but it's just a soft peachy pink around inside edge there and just blinged it up again like I did with uh, the other fairy and made a couple of bead dangles and greens I love this big green bead and this I just put a dragonfly there and a heart thank you Mary so I love that but like I said, I think I might take these clasps off and make them into ornaments because they're just super cute. So then I showed you my super huge one. This is a Christmas one I did and I love it, but I don't like how my coloring turned out. The um, But I still wanted to try it, but like sometimes when I cut too close to the edge of an image when I'm fussy cutting it out, I edge it with the Copic, with the black Copic, and it bled. So I just covered that with green stickles there to kind of dull it down. But I wasn't crazy about my coloring, like the, see how the red's not blended? I mean, it looks okay. And then I added these holly leaves while the, the um, Dimensional Magic was still wet. So it was on there, I had no choice. And I think I'm gonna do it again and I'm not gonna put those on there. I like them. But, I mean, I think I'd like it better without them. Um, I did red stickles around the inside and put this red bow. This is from a um, charm bracelet or a, a necklace piece that I got at Hobby Lobby last year. And then just some beads on the bottom. And I did that big uh, glass bead at the top with a nice piece of red um, ribbon. So, very cute for ornaments, you guys, these big bottle caps. And any of your Christmas images would look so cute in there. I mean, there's just oodles of things I can think of to do. I could put so many images in here. Um, so I did a couple more bottle cap charms. I don't know. I'm running out of time. But these were kind of... I made some last year, but they went, so I didn't have any more. I'm going to go away and come back. And they're basically... Um, based on one that I got in a swap from Christy, who is twins for me too. And I explained it in the video, the other video that I hadn't put the bottle cap and the um, uh, wine cork together. And she did that and I was just, I just thought <laughs> they were meant to be together. So um, I started making charms, um, I'm sorry, ornaments like that. And this paper is just the cutest little paper. I'm pretty sure it's a studio um, paper from Hobby Lobby. You know what? I do have that here. I'm going to double check because, I mean, it's a huge stack. Yeah, it is. It's uh, the paper studio. 
but I loved it because these, it's called Winter Wonderland. I think it's from last year. But these are perfect little bottle cap things. And I mean, it's a little small, bigger than a one inch punch, but they fit perfect in there. And then they have these little um, images too. There's just a bunch of really sweet images. So that's what I did. Like I, um, obviously I punched out the Santa, but then I just fussy cut out this oval and put the tree paper for the background. And I just think that turned out so cute. Put a tree and a reindeer. So that's so, so, so cute. And then this one, I just made all, oh no, 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 not this one. This one has, again, Santa and the reindeer and a snowman. I just cut him out of this paper one of the snowmen and then just had it on snowflake paper in the background put a little bell on the bottom i like that with the red and then this one's the one that's all snowman there's a snowman on top there's a snowman right there and then i made a little snowflake on the bottom so they're just so cute and sweet and they really hang on the tree nice because they're they're like you know they move so they're very nice um, as ornaments and then this is my last quirk ornament I did and she's kind of special she's very sweet and precious and let me see I had this is another um, ephemeris vintage garden free this one's from the apothecary blues and you can see this one didn't print out right because it cut her off but on the other one I got the full image of this little girl with her sweet face and then I just used um, so another a flower image for the bottle cap. I just used my one inch punch and put that on there. Put her in there and actually left the cork raw, which I like that because then people know it's a cork. Um, these wings are from Hobby Lobby and they're gold. So I just used my um, silver leafing pen and stickles and kind of glittered them up. Use my X-Acto knife and just cut a slit in the side. I didn't even glue them. I just kind of jimmied them in. And it, it bent on me a little bit, but not much. Added some bling. And I like using the rondelles on the top of these now. I'm just using a rondelle and the eye screw. And I just screw it in. And look at this bead dangle. Just the colors. I just love pink and blue. I love color. I'm a color girl. <laughs> Definitely. So I love that one too. And again, I think this should be used as an ornament. I mean, hanging on the tray, it's freaking beautiful. So, all right, I wanted to share, I just did this one this morning and I'm gonna come back in a little bit when these are dry and I'll show you, but I wanna uh, just talk about this and I'll do this one. So I, I did these little, sunflowers again with the peachy keen stamps and this time I used one of these this one's the wide-eyed kids assortment so it's a little bit wider and different and then I did him again this one's called the character face assortment so I just stamped them onto Nina solar white cardstock and colored it with my Copics and I mean it's pretty messy I try to make it rather than a face color I tried to make it more of the a flower center so it's like browns and yellows so my blending isn't perfect but um, it kind of fades when you put the dimensional magic on I also used a pink Copic and you can use um, Sharpies any alcohol based marker will color on metal but I used a pink one of my pink ones because I thought that would be really cute to have a pink flower this one's kind of an orange flower and see there's a bubble that's what I wanted to show you so I have my little pins up here my little and see that bubble I'm gonna zoom in so right here is a couple bubbles now another bubble just came up you just pop them and then the dimensional magic kind of flows over it so you kind of have to keep an eye on them for a little bit Last night when I did the ornament, um, this little elf, I had a bubble that just kept coming up over here. It just kept, oops, I just stuck my hand in the stickles. 
um, it kept coming, kept coming, and so you just keep popping. And sometimes I'll scoop a little extra over and kind of fill that area. Maybe it's just, oops, I'm sorry, I forget when I'm zoomed in. But um, see, I stuck my finger in the stickles. I just covered this because I didn't like that dark line. Um, so it it's like you just have to babysit it for a little bit. So this is what I do. I I'm gonna zoom back out because obviously I forgot why I was I was zoomed in and keep talking. Um, so I use this Dimensional Magic by Mod Podge. And this is the uh, silver, and you can tell it's silver because it has a silver label. This has a yellow label, and it's clear. And then I had a gold. I have a gold one as well, and that has gold glitter. This has silver glitter. Um, but I just use that. I take and I put a little bit on the bottom, just to hold the image down, and I kind of smooth it out a little. This part's just for glue. This is just using it as glue. It's not for um, to be pretty. And then I like to line up the top. I'm gonna put a hole in one of these to hang it. And so that's how I kind of make, make it straight. And so I'm gonna straighten him in there. And I kind of push down to get the air bubbles out so that air doesn't escape from underneath that and make air bubbles. I don't know where they come from, but they come. So he's in there. He's kind of in there. Let me make sure he's straight. Yep. So then, and this stuff, this is why I like this because it, it flows. Look at the thickness and how fast it comes out. So like that could actually be enough. I use my little, um, this is called a stylus and it's a ball tool. They make these for lots of things and you might have one and if you don't, it's fine. I just use this to kind of spread it with. I'm gonna need more, but I wanted to make a thin coat this time because that one is so thick. The other one I did this morning because the Dimensional Magic really comes out. It's, it's nice, it has a nice flow to it People use, um, uh, you know what it is, <laughs> glossy accents, oh my god, and uh, it's just a smaller nozzle so it doesn't come out as fast, and it seems a little thicker to me so it doesn't spread, because you can actually just go like this, like if you have a lot on here, you can turn the piece and it will fill in all your um, holes. So that, look, this is a thin coat and it's covered. Oops, this eye isn't covered. And I'm just using this tool to push it where I want it and it doesn't uh, scratch anything because it's round. And that I think that's covered. And there's a couple holes. I'm gonna go away. Let's see. I just, I wanted to show you, thinner is better actually because then you don't wait as long for it to dry. And I should have done this last night um, and then it would be done in the morning. I mean, I could have shot this last night, gone to bed, and when I woke up, it would have been ready for the next step or to show you, but uh, I just, I'm gonna zoom in. Let's see. So I see a couple little, now there's glitter in here too. So sometimes it looks like a bubble, but it's actually glitter. There's a couple bubbles over here by his eye. And you can actually just pull them away from, like say if, if it's a detail spot, pull the bubbles over to the edge. If they're not popping, sometimes they just don't want to pop most of the time. This is a, um, a stick pin, I mean, um, yeah, stick pin. So this has a really sharp point um, on the edge. I like using this to pop my bubbles. But this does have a couple bubbles. I can see them. It's not glitter. Um, and when I get off camera, I'll be able to really get over it and look at and see. But I think that's a nice coating. And this will take, I'm going to wait like till tonight before I touch it again. 
but look how cute. It's going to be super cute. These faces are adorable. So I don't know if you can tell, but look how cloudy this one is because there's so much more um, dimensional magic in there. I just put a much thicker, I just squirted. And I mean, it really comes out of this bottle. This is a brand new bottle. So that's basically how I do it. Those are the tips I would use. Just get yourself a sharp needle. And they are popping, so that's great. And you can just pull the... I can't tell if that's glitter or um, a bubble from this angle because I'm kind of peeking around the tripod. But... It sure is cute. All right, let me zoom back out. And just let me give you an overview. I also wanted to mention that I got this. This is the attachment that goes in this little carousel, the um, Recollections carousel. I had mentioned when I brought up my wire racks that, that I was glad because I finally had some place to hang things. So. But this, I saw this, and it's awesome. It actually fits into the center piece, the center area. And I wasn't using that for anything anyway because it was really deep. So stuff would kind of get lost down there. So it was like filled with sponges and like random stuff. But this makes it usable. So I have my water bottle in here, a couple of paints, just for now because I happen to just get them and throw them in there. But um, I love it, and I have... These are my quirks that I've gotten from um, swaps and that I made. I made the steampunk one. This is the one I made last year. That's uh, the Christmas ornament. So, but um, this one Patty made me. And I have one of my dominoes up here. But I, and like these are just um, kind of bead dangles that I've made that are just kind of waiting to go on something. But it's just nice to have a place to hang things. I didn't have anything like that. So anywho, all right, you guys, I'm going to come back and I'll show you what our little flowers are looking like. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so of course I was impatient because it is, you know, I went walk the dog, I did a few things, and I finished this one pretty much. I stickled around the edges. As you can see, I put a little bee on his forehead, and I should have put the bee on this one because this one has a bigger forehead. But that one wasn't ready yet. <laughs> but this is the one I did with you guys. And it's, if you see, you can see the doll marks where I touched it. So honestly, just go to bed and do it in the morning. Like, just get away from it because I have no patience at all and I touch stuff. But it's not ruined, it's still good. I'm going to put this little ladybug, I'm just putting glossy accents on this little ladybug. And I'm going to drop it right there on the forehead. And I'm going to put these trims I found. Where did I get this trim? I think they were kind of on clearance at AC Moore. And it's just white with bling. So it's like a plastic white bezel with bling. But I think I'm going to put that kind of up against the edge um, on here. Uh, I was you can use and I did this on my um, the original one this is the tulip paint the three the dimensional paint I put the pearls on this one but I don't think the pearls I mean will fit um, necessarily I don't know I just want to try this so I'm gonna use my fabric tack because it's tacky and I like how right away it, it sticks you like glossy accents takes much longer to stick so I'm going to shake this down. And, you know, you guys don't have to watch this part. Oops, why is this not coming out? You barely, I rarely have an issue with Fabri-Tac coming out. That's so weird. But you just stick a pin in it, and there it will come. And I'm just going to put, uh, I'm going to put it along this edge. Instead of in the corner, I'm going to try and, like, kind of, Put it up against the side. I might go off camera because I'm totally uh, trying to get this where I want it. So that's that. 
And I'm just going to put this on that lip and press down all the way around the inside. I kind of did it a dry run with it and I liked the way it looked. So we'll see. It's fun to try new stuff, new trims. Uh, new. Alright, I need scissors. Cut it right here. And then I'll give it a push into place. It's kind of on a slant, so I think I might need one more piece. I'll cut a I'll cut a piece off and stick it in the hole if I made a hole because I want to push it up against the metal. And I think it looks fine. I don't know necessarily think I need to put one. I could. I could just put a flower there. I might put a little tiny little flower there. I could kind of squoosh it all the way around which might be hard because I could put a hole there too. See now I'm there I kind of moved it around a little bit I think. I like it. I think it looks cute. It kind of you know, when, when flowers have those little seeds on the inside, that's what I was thinking it kind of would um, look like. So, and that'll dry clear, so it looks a little clunky there. That'll be okay. And you know what, let me just cut one off and see if it'll uh, fill that spot. Because I am, I'm not a perfectionist at all. I'm good enough, but if I can fix something or make it look better, I will. And, I mean, it fits. I don't know that it's necessary. But, see? So then, I use uh, this tool, and I don't know the name of the tool. It's by Bead Landing, and they I got it at Michael's. But it has this little... Um, like a drill bit type thing. I don't know. But you can pop holes in the in the bottle caps and in the tin. So I'm just going to, oh, I'm off camera, sorry. Kind of center it on this pedal. And that's it. You hear that noise? I made a hole. And it might not be all the way through, but then you can just kind of uh, poke something through and bend the metal a little so it opens it up. See? And then I'll put a hole, I have to put a hole down here, so I'll have to play with that in a minute. But the other thing I was going to do was um, put a little stickles. I have this pretty orange stickles I love, so I think I'm just going to put that around the edges. I just love blinging stuff up. I love all the sparkle and the more the better. So this will take another minute to dry, but while it's drying, I'll make a little bead dangle for it. I think they turned out cute. I like these little uh, flower ones for um, using the faces. The peachy keen faces. You guys could make your own faces. You could draw. You could put a little sweet uh, printable retro kit in their face. My son called this a, a flower baby, this one. And you know what's funny? I did do, oops, did I just mess up? No. I did do this one in the skin tones, and I forgot, I didn't realize that. But it does look like a flower baby. It's so cute. But I like these darker, too. I think they look fine, because uh, uh, the center of a flower is a little darker. So, and then I did put this pearl, perfect, what is this called? Liquid pearls. I put a little dab in the white of the eye on this one, and I might do it on this one too. It just gives it a little dimension and pearls it up because I had the pearls on there. I put stickles on the bee's wings. 
So let's see. I think it looks cute. I think they turned out cute. So I'll make bead dangles for them. And I hope this was helpful. I mean, it's not rocket science. Anyone can do it. Just squirt the stuff on. Pop your bubbles. Um, and try not to put too much because it just makes it, takes it longer to dry. Um, but it'll dry. I mean, like if you leave it overnight, it'll dry. I wanted to show you. This one is my mom. I did this one yesterday. I had this picture of my mom, so I just photocopied it. So it's just a piece of paper. I put some old antique -y looking paper underneath, like with writing on it. And she's about five here. And I made a flower with her on it, and I just put some golden beads, kind of made an antique -y feel to it. Um, I did that, and then this one's kind of drying. I put some Prima paper behind. This is Joe and I on our wedding day, and I'm going to put some trims and some lace and different stuff around it and see how that turns out and make that into an ornament. So they're really fun to play with these tins. There's pretty much anything. You can do anything with them. Um, you can use cut out image, you know, printed it. Uh, what am I trying to say? Stamped and, and colored images. You can use faces, stamps, you know, you can use um, anything. So I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching.